Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I'm gonna share with you several things in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam, including the idea that as governments continue to debase their fiat currencies, that money getting printed into oblivion flows into things of value, specifically XRP and the rest of the crypto asset class. And there's an article from Forbes covering this titled, China and the Fed to flood the world with trillions, traders suddenly braced for extreme predicted Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and crypto price swings. But uh, before going further, I do to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this video, XRP is 60 cents and Bitcoin's at 37,807 bucks. Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 71 out of 100. So people still feeling pretty greedy. Um, although there are concerns that we could be seeing the price of Bitcoin, at least temporarily, uh, go a bit lower into the lower 30 something thousand region anyway, depending on which analyst you ask. Uh, here's perspective from analyst TXMC, formerly with Glassnode, which is a fantastic on chain analytics firm I'm a big fan of. Uh, he shared this Bitcoin USD chart and wrote, Bitcoin weekly still looks good, though recent bodies are compressing at resistance. Can't yet rule out a thirty-one dollars to $32,000 backtest that preserves the uptrend. Upon a clean break higher, the big 40s supply zone becomes the next boss. And so uh, I'd say one of the key words there, and perhaps the most important key word, would be preserves, as in preserves the uptrend, even if you do see that dip to the downside. And I've seen others, like I reported in a video yesterday, you know, chart analyst Credible Crypto, um, you know, even he said that there's a pretty reasonable chance that with, uh, you know, with Bitcoin bumping up into the lower 38,000 there resistance, uh, don't be surprised if you see it drop a bit lower, maybe even a few thousand dollars lower. Uh, but he thinks that that's just going to result in ultimately a rush to the upside, ultimately. Um... Which does make me happy that I'm not a chart analyst. I want to share this. Somebody on social media platform X shared one of those how it started versus how it's going things. And it's got pers it's got a screen grab um, of, of a video from very popular chart analyst Nicholas Merton. Um, I mean, this guy, I think he's got like over, over 500,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. He's very well known in the world of crypto. And uh, here you can see over a month ago, he had this video titled, My Final Warning for Bitcoin. The coming collapse could be massive. So again, that's a month ago. And then here's one of his more recent videos um, titled, Bitcoin could hit $200,000 if this one event repeats. And so that's why it's a how it started versus how it's going thing. And I say this not to mock Nic Nic Nicholas Merton because um, although I've never spoken with him, he always comes across as a genuine guy, good guy operating in good faith, definitely not an idiot. Um, you know, he's the only analyst that I saw anything from in 2017 that'll still follow to any degree. So there's, there's something there. But uh, I do want to highlight just to say, I could not be more thankful that I am not a chart analyst. <laughs> just to illustrate the point further, I mentioned it from time to time. You know, you know if, if, if you were known to any degree on, on YouTube, yes, you're, you're going to get flack and that's fine. But my God, I'm telling you, the chart guys in crypto, they get it worse than anyone. The scorn, man. Why weren't you right more? <laughs> Uh, here's a chart from, this is a Bitcoin USD chart from a very popular analyst, Bob Lucas, 243,000 followers on X. And he wrote, people selling their Bitcoin position because meh, could drop to $33,000 when the chart looks like this and with a possible ETF around the corner. I mean, face palm, face palm. And so he does seem to subscribe to the idea that perhaps it could go lower, but it's just like, so what? We're splitting hairs here because if we are right and it's going to go much, much, much higher... Like, who cares? It's it's just like, it's the same concept. It's true of every crypto. Like, there are people, I remember an extra was 25 cents. They're like, oh, should I buy it now? Ah, well, you know, I think it's going to go down to 20 or 21 cents. I'm going to see if that happens. You know, and it's just like, okay, you're playing with fire here though, because if it doesn't, eh. And then when you're talking about XRP, if it really does go to 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever the big number, you know, on the moon would be, if you bought it XRP at 21 or 25 cents, it's practically immaterial if we if we are correct on the whole. You know, that's what's more important. That's what I'm saying here. Um, and then there was also, the, oh, I wanted to highlight this, from Crypto Caesar. Um, and this is a Bitcoin balance on exchanges 
uh, chart. And it's just, this is a point that I like to bring up from time to time because it is, I don't think most people get the degree to which this is true, but it's, it's of crucial importance. There, there's not that much Bitcoin available for sale. And I believe that the same concept is true for XRP. I'm going to see if I can find a way to get this data for XRP. The chart here was generated from Glassnode. So maybe if I have access to Glassnode, I can do that. And I know they have paid subscriptions. There's a free one. If there's one that's free, I'd be willing to check it out. But I'd never use the advanced feature, so it's not something I'd be willing to pay for. But Because uh, I just don't care enough. I, I really wouldn't use it. But I would like to see if there's a chart that can show how much XRP is on exchanges because that's what they're doing here in this, show, here in this chart for Bitcoin. And it illustrates the point that there's almost none. There is a max supply ever for Bitcoin once it's all mined of 21 million. And over 19 million has been mined. And take a look at what Crypto Caesar had to say here. This is what th These are the scraps that everyone's left fighting for. And keep in mind, Bitcoin already ran up to almost $70,000. And then just think about what this means for XRP. Because I, I have strong uh, f uh, suspicions that the same concept absolutely applies to XRP. Almost, there's almost no XRP available. And it already ran up to four bucks near its all-time high. So here's what Crypto Caesar said. There are currently 2.3 million Bitcoin on exchanges, which equates to 88.2 billion USD. This is what I would call the operating float. However, it's probably about 25 slash 30% less because a lot of them are being hodled by plebs who don't self-custody. My guess is a lot of the operating float will be eaten up by firms granted a spot Bitcoin ETF and retail FOMO. This will have a dramatic effect on price to the upside. Right, and so I, and I've said this many times too. Just because there's whatever the quantity is of Bitcoin on exchange, it doesn't mean it's all for sale. It doesn't. It just means it's on an exchange. We don't, we don't know at any given moment. I mean, maybe there's someone that, that knows how to track that. I, I'm kind of, I've never seen it. If there is, actually, that'd be neat. Somebody share that with me. I've never seen it. But you can see how much is on exchanges here. Uh, and, and so almost none of it's available. Almost none of it. Um, and so as far as the ETF comment, look, over time, maybe it'll be substantial. As far as when the news breaks, I talked about it yesterday, so I don't want to get into it again. But uh, yeah, when the news breaks, maybe you see spike, probably comes back down, whatever. Buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing. Wouldn't be surprised. But the real implications over a long period of time, yeah, absolutely. And so this is this is the scrap. These are the scraps that everybody's going to be fighting over. Same thing's true for XRP, and that's why it's exciting to be in crypto right now. Like, when else has there been an, an instance in history where retail gets to front-run traditional finance in Wall Street and investing in something like that? It, it's I, I've never heard of a situation like that. There hasn't been. Right, uh, And then there's this from Forbes, China, and the Fed to flood the world with trillions. Traders suddenly brace for extreme predicted Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and crypto price swings. So folks, not only did we have the opportunity here, and we have front-run Wall Street and the rest of traditional finance, as more and more money gets printed, there will be a flight to value. A phrase that Larry Fink, Fink, Larry Fink, <laughs> Larry Fink the, uh, the CEO of BlackRock used in describing the entire cryptocurrency asset class. He said there's going to be a flight to quality. Yes, XRP is absolutely uh, absolutely part of that. So as more dollars get printed and it keeps getting debased, what do you think that flight's going to look like? I think a big chunk will ultimately flow to XRP because it has a network effect and a staying power. It's, it's not going away. I think that's obvious. It's been here over a decade now. Uh, it'd be a lot more scary to hold XRP in the first few years it existed. You never know. Well, is it one of the ones that's going to go to zero? Is it? Is there a flaw in the co code? Could it actually be a rug pull? Uh, but now we're over a decade in, and it's, it has real-world utility, real-world adoption. So it's easier now, and so that's great I, in, in a sense, but uh, still almost no humans know that XRP exists. So it's not so late that uh, we can't have life-changing wealth as a result of holding XRP, which I'd still say, like, even today, it's it's relatively early on. I think it's pretty early on here still. With, with substantially less than 1% of humans holding XRP at any point in their life, yeah. I'd say we're sufficiently early. Anyway, piece reads as follows. Bitcoin and crypto prices, including major coins, Ethereum and XRP, have surged this year. The Bitcoin price has more than doubled over the last 12 months, and the market gears up for a Wall Street earthquake, that some expect to turbocharge the Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and crypto market. Now, rumors fly around Bitcoin's worst-kept secret. Legendary Bitcoin and crypto trader Arthur Hayes has predicted China is about to flood the world with yuan credit, 
something he thinks will flow into the hard into hard monetary assets like Bitcoin. And here's a quote from Hayes. If China is printing yuan, it will make its way into the global markets and support the prices of all types of risk assets. And Hayes, who co-founded crypto derivatives pioneer BitMEX, I wrote that in a blog post, adding China is about to, quote, throw gasoline on the raging fire that is the incipient crypto bull market and flood the world with yuan credit, end quote. So should that be the case, and a bunch of that does flow into crypto, it's, it's debasing the yuan further, um, but that action in and of itself doesn't debase other fiat currencies. Now, of course, the United States is doing a good job debasing its own currency, but you can see what's being discussed here. And that's why I brought up before covering this a flight to quality and, the, and highlighting the degree to which you are early in all of this, which is incredible. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the opportunity of a lifetime investing in crypto this year. Uh, I mean, this early on, really, not just this year, but it's, it's incredible. This is ne there's never been an opportunity like this in the history of our species, yet here we are. Peace continues. Hayes, now chief investment officer at investment fund Maelstrom, pointed to rising expectations the Federal Reserve will soon begin unwinding its tight monetary policy, leading to the U.S. dollar weakening and allowing China to, quote, engage in a massive round of stimulus, end quote, that will revive its property market and increase infrastructure spending. Recent data has shown a brief rebound in China's struggling economy has stalled, piling pressure on China's President Xi Jinping to spur growth with stimulus measures. And here's another quote from Hayes. Given that the dollar is the world's largest funding currency, if the price of credit falls, all fixed supply assets like Bitcoin and gold will rise in dollar fiat price returns, end quote. And obviously, you know, there's always inflation to consider. But the point is, where's where's more value going to be increasingly in crypto, obviously, right? And and uh, over time, much less actual value will be in fiat currency. Perc percentage wise, and I'm not talking just in terms of purchasing power, right? It's a whole nother asset class to, to put it into. I mean, really, honestly, rich people, they don't have that much cash anyway. They have a certain amount just for emergencies, this or that. But uh, the smart people, they're not just putting cash onto the mattress. They, they're investing in things that are finite. Like there's, there's land, there's stocks, there's cryptocurrency, there's art. That's what's happening. And then he, here's one more quote from him. The great part about this macro pillar of bullishness is that it doesn't require Chinese firms and wealthy individuals to buy any Bitcoin. The fungible nature of global fiat credit will dictate that the marginal fiat dollar will flow into hard monetary assets like Bitcoin. End quote. So folks, congratulations. This could be equivalent or better to hitting the lottery ticket. Now, I don't think that most people are going to find success because most people are their own worst enemy when it comes to investing, getting in and out of positions, being emotional, so on and so forth, uh, not sufficiently long-term oriented. But the opportunity is there. And there's just that's what's so empowering to me, it always has been, that regular people like you and me, we have the opportunity for life-changing wealth. That's what's so empowering, and it is real. It is not a pipe dream. It, it's not that it happens overnight. You know, I've been at this over six years now. But the opportunity is absolutely real. I'm way better off in so many ways, including in terms of net worth, because I got into crypto six years ago. But I think it's going to be after this next bull cycle. Whew. Yeah, lots to look forward to. I know, I know. Preaching to the choir here. But it's true, man. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.